in a city that's famous for having wonderful neighborhoods and great places to walk, this is one of my favorites, the Embarcadero, right by the ferry building. I'm going to show you a great place to get yourself a five-star lunch at home. San Francisco's ferry building at the foot of Market Street has become one of the great hangouts and culinary hotspots in a city that's famous for them. When you're in the city and you want to grab a high quality quick bite, nothing beats this place. Inside the ferry building, let's go check it out. The ferry building is a 112 year old ferry terminal that was reconceived as an upscale gourmet marketplace in 2003. And in here you'll find this place, out the door. It's the takeaway counter for the world famous foodie magnet, the slanted door. San Franciscans line up to get their freshly prepared gourmet food when they're in a hurry and on the run. There's a limited number of hot dishes served here at the counter for those that want to sit down and eat. But the main attraction here are the entrees taken straight from the menu of the slanted door and packed cold to be prepared at home. Absolutely, thank you very much, appreciate that. Check that out, it's that easy. I'm gonna bring this home from my favorite dishes, cook them in my own kitchen, how do you beat that? If you can turn on a frying pan, then you can make one of these meals from the slanted door. It's that easy, and I'm here to walk you through the process. Uh, the meal I have right here are the daikon rice cakes, and it comes with everything that you're gonna need to make this meal. It comes with the cooking oil, the sweet soy sauce that gives it that great flavor, and of course, the rice cakes themselves, which come vacuum packed to keep them fresh. I happen to live in Los Angeles, and I left the ferry building, got on a plane, three hours later, I'm gonna eat lunch at home here. These are absolutely amazing. Uh, a little fresh cilantro for garnish and flavor, and of course, the directions. They couldn't make it any more simple. Okay, now step number one, I was not lying. This is the hardest part. Get it to a nice temperature. It's already hot because this is TV. And first step is you're gonna pour your oil in. Now they give you more than you need. I actually conserve a little bit. I like my food a little less oily, but that's up to you. While the pan's heating, I'm gonna take the rice cakes and open the vacuum seal. Mmm, God, it smells good already. And once the oil is nice and hot, the next step, you take the rice cakes Put them right in the oil, and you let them cook on each side for about five minutes. And they are ready to eat, and I cannot wait. It smells delicious. Well, we are done cooking, and we are almost ready to eat. But as is the case with all Asian cooking, the secret is in the sauce. And this one is a beautiful blend of some ginger. It's got different soy sauces in there, and wonderful blends of citrus. It contrasts so well with the rice cakes, it'll just drive you crazy. Mmm. Boy, it smells so good, but it tastes even better. I'm John Cragen. I hope you enjoyed the little impromptu cooking lesson today. Mm. I gotta try the clay pot chicken next. <laughs>